Let us now create Pareto chart. Pareto chart has another name which is called as 80-20 rule. Let me show you this by connecting to the inbuilt or saved data source. For now, we will connect to sample superstore dataset. So let me click on that. And you know for a fact that Tableau would automatically look into the underlying dataset and segregate the data into dimensions and measures. We will try to come up with a Pareto chart wherein we are going to visualize the top 20% of customers who generate 80% of profit for this particular superstore. What do we want? We want to know who are those top 20% of customers. Hence, let me drag the customer name and drop it on the column shelf. What do we want? We want top 20 profit-making customers or top 20 customers who generate 80% of profit. So we're discussing about profit. So let us drag the profit measure and drop it on the rose shelf. I see that each bar represents profits of a specific customer and you also have negative values which represent loss-making customers for your company. Now, let me sort the customers in the decreasing order of profits. So I click there. There you go. I see that the customers are sorted now in the decreasing order of profits. There are multiple ways of sorting. Either you can sort the customer name in by selecting the customer name and clicking here or another way to sort is rather than sorting in that way I would go to profit and click on profit right so now I have sorted the customers using profit let us also do this in order to view all the customers I need to scroll towards the right side or towards the left side instead of doing this if I want entire data to be represented in a single view then I just do a drop down and select entire view here now you see here these are all your profit making customers and here you have your loss making customers who are towards the bottom side here all right now we need to do a lot of changes we will also get introduced to quick table calculations as part of this so all we need to do is drop down on the profit uh, which is there on the row shelf go to quick table calculation and select running total what this running total does is it is going to cumulatively add the profit so for example you're going to add the profit of first customer with the second customer and then show the second bar the third bar that you see is a summation of the first three customers and in that way each bar is nothing but summation of the profits of all the customers towards the left I mean if you are looking at the profits for probably Eugene Moran right then all towards the left of Eugene Moran's profits are getting added and it is represented using a single bar there and why do you think the bar is reducing here now the loss making customers have come in and the losses need to be subtracted from the profits and hence you see a dip there in the curve okay now we will do another quick calculation let us now drop down on this profit measure and say we want to edit the quick table calculation which we have created for this time we are going to select 
perform a secondary calculation and we're going to here select percentage of total because we want to represent the data in percentage terms and also where it says summarize the values from you need to select customer name and also here where it says summarize values using and running along you need to select customer name now let me click on apply all right it's changing now now let me click on ok there you go so here the axis shows in percentage terms because I want to calculate the top 20% of customers who generate 80% of profit okay now let us also create a calculated field because we want the percentage of customers hence we need to do this one small calculation right click on any of the measures any of the measures and create a calculated field and let me rename this to suit the requirements so I will say percentage of customers and here I would divide index by size think about what this does each customer is called as an index or each row is an index for example Christopher Martin is or let me hover my mouse and see who is the first customer there it's Tamara Chand who is the first customer and the second customer happens to be Raymond Butch so on and so forth so you have all the customers here each and every customer would have an index number in that sequence and divide by size means I'm dividing it by the overall customers overall number of customers in this way I get to know what is the percentage of customers so what is the percentage of profits which Tamarachan generates in relation to the overall customers that is what we are trying to solve so since it says that the calculation is valid I click on apply and let me see whether the calculated field appears here or not oh yeah it appears now let me click on OK now what we need to do is drag and drop the percentage of customers measures to the column shelf to the right of customer name and you would see this kind of a weird representation and this is expected we are in the right path if you see that you see this kind of a weird visualization now I would request you to drag the customer name from this column shelf onto the detail section of the marks uh, card and here you'll see this kind of a visualization this is also expected now what we need to do is drop down on the percentage of customers go to compute using customer name and there you go you see those circles which is represented in in terms of Pareto chart right now let us also do this I do not want this to appear in this way uh, these circles I want it to appear as a line so I would simply do this I would do a drop down here on the marks card and I'm going to select bar or you can select a line it's left up to you on what you intend to do here right so there are various things let me select line for now post which we can also edit the axis if you see here the x-axis has 0 0.1 0 0.2 numbers but it doesn't have percentage so let me right click on that axis click on format in the format options which you would see here is similar to an excel sheet 
So in the list format pane, do a drop down on the number and select percentage. And we do not want it to be represented in decimal terms as 10.00 percentage. Instead, we want it to be zero, uh, have zero decimals. All right, we have fixed this also. Now, if you want to close this and return to your dimensions and measures data pane, just click on the cross mark there. Now, you see that it's a line chart and you're viewing a Pareto now. Also, you can alternatively select a bar in the max shelf. So let me do that. You can have all the bars represented in that way. And you can also drag and drop the profit measure onto color. And there you go. This is another visualization of Pareto. But this is not what we want. We want just a Pareto chart. So I've done a Control Z or Command C on MacBook. Or you can press on the back option here to undo your changes. <laughs> now, let us do this. Let us right click on percentage total running sum of profit and say we want to add a reference line. And when we want to add a reference line, we can have a uh, values change for example I, i'm going to change this average to a constant and i'm going to select i want 80 percent so 0.8 and i'm going to click on ok there you go i see that reference line is at 80 percent on similar fashion i also want a reference line here for the x-axis so let me add a reference line by right clicking on the axis here also i'm going to change the average to a constant and i'm going to select point 0.2 and click on ok there you go so now we have the reference line at 80 percent and 20 percent so these are the 20 percent customers who generate 80 percent of profits for you probably you want to provide them additional discounts to retain them because the cost of retaining a customer is less than acquiring a new customer. Now, we also see a bend here and the percentage value is exceeding 100%. Hence, what we can probably do is uh, we can drag the profit value to the filter shelf the moment we do that we get all values let us select all values click on next and now let me change this to zero so that I get rid of the loss making customers and only retain the profit making customers so here we go the curve slightly changed, but yes, this is the kind of visualization that we want to view. Now, I do not want to stop here, but I want to create another Pareto chart. But this time, we will be connecting to a different data set or data source, which is Coffee Chain data source. So let us do it now. But even before that, let me rename this sheet to... Pareto chat. 